All right, copy this into your notes. We're on page 328, and we're going to be talking about the in center. Okay, the in center is the point. Okay, I want you to copy this down. The in center is always inside the triangle. Okay, I intentionally capitalized the I and N to help you remember that the in center is always inside the triangle. Okay, it's a circumcenter that can be inside or outside or on the triangle. The in center is always inside the triangle. It is equal distant from each side and is located at the intersection of the triangle's angle bisectors. So if you look at this, okay, the distance from P to each side is the same distance. So P is the center of what we call the in circle. Okay, this is called an in circle. It touches each side of the triangle. So if you look at this diagram, PD is equal to PE, which is equal to PF. Those three little segments are all the same length. And then it is located, if you were to bisect each in angle, okay, P is located at the intersection of the three angle bisectors. Okay, let's look at our first example here, example four. Use the in-center theorem. Find the measure of if J is the in-center of ABC, triangle ABC. So if J is the in-center, that means that JF and JE are the same. So if we're trying to find JF, okay, this length is the same as this length. Now, we can find JE because it is the side of a right triangle. JE squared plus 12 squared equals 15 squared. Plus 12 squared equals 15 squared. So that means that JE squared plus 144 equals 225. Subtract 144 from both sides. JE squared equals 81. Okay, by subtracting 144, we get this. Take the square root of both sides. JE equals 9. Well, if JE is 9, since JE and JF are the same length, JF equals 9. Keep in mind, when I took the square root here, I only wrote the positive value because distances are only positive. If you, if you got plus or minus 9, cross off the minus 9 because distance is always positive. Okay, and then part B here. Since, find the measure of JAC. Okay, JAC. Well, if this is 32, we know this is also 32 right here, and this is 34. So we have, okay, I'm just going to make a rough diagram. We've got 34, 32. Well, this angle and this angle match, so this is 34, this is 32, and we're trying to find um, JAC, which is, we're trying to find the measure of this angle. Well, we have a big triangle here, so we're going to find the measure of that. 32 and 32 is 64 and 68. 132, we do 180 minus 132. This entire angle here is 48 degrees. We want the measure of this little angle here. That little angle, J, A, C, is going to be half of that. It's going to be 24 degrees.